In this video, we're going to look at how we find the maximum value or the minimum value on the graph of a function on our TI Inspire calculator. First step is to go into Scratchpad, hit it again to get the graphical display. Now we're going to go to Menu, we're going to go option number three, Graph Entry, and option number one, Function. So now we've got f1 of x. So we're, this is just telling us this is our first function that we're going to input. The function that we want to look at is we want to look at 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. Hit enter and up pops the graph of the function. Now let's say I wanted to find the minimum point on that graph. Well here's what I do. I go into menu. I go into number 6 which is analyze graph. And then I choose my option, which is minimum, number two. It's asking me for a lower bound. So basically it's asking me, where do you want me to search for this minimum? Because there could be multiple local minimums on the graph. So I'm going to just going to choose my upper bound to the left of the minimum point on the graph. And I'm going to choose my upper bound to the right of the minimum point on the graph. And the calculator will search between these two bounds to find the minimum point. And there it's found it. It's at minus 0.75 and minus 2.13. The last thing that we want to be able to do here is we want to be able to correctly interpret what this readout is telling us. So my minimum value is at minus 0 0.75, minus 2.13. So the x coordinate, that's telling me where my function has its minimum value. It has its minimum value at x equals minus 0 0.75. However, the y coordinate, minus 2.13, that's the actual minimum value of the function. That's the lowest point that the function gets to on its graph. So when we've been asked a question, we have to be careful and we have to interpret what is the question asking for? Is it asking for the actual minimum value of the function? In this case, that would be minus 2.13. Or is it asking at what value does the minimum occur? If that's the case, it would be minus 0.75. Okay, so the last thing that we need to be aware of when we're looking for maximum and minimum points on graphs of our functions is we have to understand how the max min function works on the calculator. So the max min function doesn't find turning points. The max min function finds the largest or the smallest value within the upper and lower bounds that you've given the calculator. So what do I mean by that? Well, imagine I want to find a maximum point on this function. So we can clearly see there's no local maximum points. There's no turning points that are the top of a curve, okay? We only have our one local min. But I can still find maximum points on this curve between an upper and lower bound. So if I hit menu and I hit analyze graph again, and this time I choose option number three, which is a maximum, I'm asked to choose my upper and lower bound. So I'm going to choose a lower bound here and an upper bound here. And it's giving me a value for the maximum within that range. So the maximum value is at x equals minus 2.7. And it's saying that the maximum value of the function in that range is 5.51. So this is not a local maximum. It's not a turning point, but it is the maximum within that range. So we have to be careful how we use the function on our calculator. So where is this likely to come up in a question? Well, imagine the following graph x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. So this is a cubic function. And imagine that you've been asked to find the local maximum point on this graph. So I would just go into menu. I'd hit analyze graph number 6. I'd hit maximum number 3. I choose a lower bound to the left of the local max. And I choose an upper bound to the right of the local max. Now, what has gone wrong here? What's gone wrong is that I've chosen an upper bound too far to the right of the local maximum point. And it's actually found me a point that is higher on the graph than the local maximum point. So x equals 3.23 is not actually a local max. It's not a turning point of the graph. It's just the largest value that the graph takes on between the two bounds that I chose. So if I want to go find my local maximum point, I just need to be a little bit more careful when I choose my bounds. So menu, analyze graph, maximum. And now I just want to choose the upper and the lower bounds to be quite close to that local maximum. And I can clearly see now the calculator is honing in on the point that I'm looking for. And I can see that my local maximum point is at x equals minus 0 0.535. And the value of the function at that point is y equals 1.88. Now, obviously, both those numbers are to three significant figures. 
And if we want it to a higher degree of accuracy, we need to go into the calculator and change the display of those values.